Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we got an addition here of the What's Inside Scrap Breakdown video. And uh, can you hear me now? FM Wireless Intercom Radio Shack. We got a twofer. <laughs> and I'm waging that there's probably nothing inside these. Uh, so because there's two, I'm going to take one apart and then decide if I want to take two apart or if I want to cut that cord, move on with my life. Uh, yeah, Radio Shack. Uh, so what am I doing here? If you're new to the channel, um, as a trash picker, I pick up stuff in the trash uh, to recycle, to sell, whatever, uh, do my scrap metal. Uh, and when it's something that I'm unfamiliar with, or I'm interested in, or a common item, I like to break them open at least one time so I see what's inside of them, so I have a little bit more educated guess. Next time I come across something similar, uh, do I wanna waste my time on it or whatever. Um, likewise, I put them on YouTube, or I document them and I put them on YouTube so that if you come across something, uh, is a similar type of item, you can make a little bit of a decision on what you wanna do with it. So anyway, Radio Shack uh, intercoms, I did try these just out of curiosity. They're kind of an interesting item. Wondered if I could resell them. Uh, I plugged them in and uh, did not not really work that well. They, they tried making some noise. They could maybe just need cleaned. I'm not going to that kind of trouble. I don't think they're worth that much. So we're just gonna see what's going on up here. These ought to be a pretty easy one. I've got uh, three tools I'm working with today. A magnet, a Phillips uh, for these guys here, and some wire cutters. Is it gonna be enough? We'll find out. Let's start with these four screws. All right, we got those out. Let's, there's some plastic and we've got a board. A little bit more in there than I thought. I'm gonna pry this apart here. And let's evaluate this. A little closer look. All right, I wanted to take a closer look at this. Um, and now this is an extremely low grade board. I mean, there's nothing special on here uh, at all. Um, it's one-sided green board. Um, it's old school. Um, so what I would, what I'm gonna take off of this, and what I would normally take off of this, of course, is I'm gonna cut my cord. I'm gonna take this uh, transformer off. Um, I cut these little capacitors off. All these little cylinder capacitors. The roaches here, the chips. There's a few little switches I'll pop off. It could be silver contacts in those. Um, there's going to be a little something in this, nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing uh, too exciting. Uh, and then I've got really low grade board afterwards. Um, so because of that, uh, would I, you know, will I pop this other one open? And the answer actually for me is going to be yes. And I'll tell you why. This is the only piece of waste basically. So this is the only weight that I'm going to be um, not getting at least a light iron price on is this one piece of plastic. Uh, because I see now that the speaker is, uh, screwed into that uh that's pretty heavy i don't need that speaker i know there's a magnet on there i know there's a really little piece of copper in there i've done that so much um it's not worth my time anymore um it's actually quite a bit of the weight so uh this is the only piece that i'm actually throwing away now so i'm going to get at least a light iron price or better across the board on all this stuff so and as a small time scrapper uh you know this is how i get my stuff this is all i get i don't get big vehicles and i don't get um, you know, big building clean outs and, and things like this. This is how I get every bit of my copper, every bit of my uh, boards, every bit of my gold, every bit of my brass. So uh, I am gonna go ahead, there, there were four screws to this. I mean, if this would have been any more of a process than four screws, then, you know, things might be different, but um, four screws and we're gonna pop that off. I'll have two motor or two, you know, copper bearing out of there and, and just basically everything will get double. That'll be my light iron. Uh, the other thing that I do is I do cut the brass off of the end of my plugs and I pull those out. I'll snip that and then I'll have my copper wire too. I'm going to go ahead and do that to this one. I'm going to break them out most of the way and show you uh, just how much I recover out of these two small items.
right, here we go. Uh, here's how it ended up coming. Uh, two pieces of plastic. This is our light iron or our shred. Again, that's where most of the weight really is of anything uh, between that plastic and then those, those speakers there are pretty heavy. Um, we've got two of our transformers. These are all brass bearing. Uh, these are those little knobs. There's a little piece of brass in there. Sometimes they're copper. Uh, I, I busted one of them open here. One of them went flying and I could see that it's uh, uh, the brass kind in there. So I'm not going to break those down. I can sell that as brass bearing. A uh, little bit of our cheap wire. Here's our IC chips, our flat packs that I peeled off. Um, there's our capacitors, brass. Those are the switches and uh, the contacts. A couple of them were broke. So there's the contacts. You can see them kind of shine in there. Um, this is our good cord. And just so you're kind of, if you're kind of curious, oh, I missed one there. Um, I've stripped these pretty good. Um, I take off everything that I, and try to hoard, as you can see, um, with the exception of things that I just don't know what they are. Uh, you know, I always look for tantalum, uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors, gold, silver, precious metals, things like that. Um, these, I, I can't confirm that they are in fact tantalum. I'm not gonna mess with them. So that's just the way I do it. These end up going in uh, basically you know, these are kind of the equivalent of light iron. These are just uh, <laughs> low grade boards, just screwing them. So take them off apples to apples. That's what they kind of, uh, that's what it comes down to. Um, is that worth your time? That's up to you. Uh, this is kind of how I do it. I would probably pick these up again and uh, I break them down like this again, um, mostly. I know I mentioned this mostly because there was only four screws. Four screws, and, and then this is how I recover my stuff. So that's how we're going to do it. Thanks for tuning in. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions, let me know. If you got any advice, by all means, let me know. Um, otherwise, if you don't mind, check out my, uh, my channel. Check out my other playlist. Hit the subscribe button if you don't care. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. As always, thanks again for watching, and happy scrapping. Thank you. Thank you very much.